That song's in your head, don't lie. That's right. Trailer may have dropped on Sunday, but it's a blue Monday up in here. So we have the first trailer, the teaser trailer to Wonder Woman 1984 that takes place in. That's right, 1984. As you can just, you can tell by the song. Down, no, 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 down, no, no, no. So Pedro Pascal, who, <laughs> he's had quite a year, quite a few episodes anyway. Point is, he's the bad guy, he looks like the baddie, and he has a rock that grants wishes. That's what I get from the trailer anyway. It, and it looks like Wonder Woman brings Steve Trevor back. Tell you the truth, I don't, I don't exactly know how he's back. I know he's rocking that fanny pack. Not everyone can do that, so that's important. But if I'm going by what the trailer's telling me, apparently. Think about finally having everything you always wanted. And now he's back, so I imagine it's because of that. Kristen Wiig as Cheetah, I still don't know. I was a little skeptical at first, and I know Kristen Wiig has acting chops. But when she's cast as Cheetah, you can't help but be like, so they're going a little comedic with this one. So many times, yeah. All the time. At first it kind of comes across as this Selena Kyle and Batman Returns format. At first she's a little awkward and then boom, she's this head turning bombshell that that guy clearly wants to leave his wife for. And one brief scene of dialogue with Diana just isn't enough to gauge it really. So I still don't know how they're doing Cheetah, personality wise, or even if Cheetah's gonna be the half human, half Cheetah Cheetah? Or is she gonna be human and dress up in an outfit and be really good at acrobatics? But I'm glad that they're bringing back that fun element of the first Wonder Woman that I really love. And that's Diana was a fish out of water. She was in a new land. She didn't know how things worked. And they brought that back, only it's Steve Trevor. He's in a new land. He's like, oh, what? Suddenly it's 1984. Steve Rogers, he adapted pretty quickly. He just punched a bag to death. Steve Trevor's like, that's art? She's like, no, it's a trash can. So the roles are reversed. I like that. I like that fish out of water thing. It had fun with it in the first Wonder Woman. I have faith that they can make it work like as part of the plot. I don't want to walk away like Hangover 2 going, eh, it was kind of the same thing as the first movie, only not as good. But it's good to see father and daughter working together. That's what I see here. I mean, that's, that, that is straight up Zeus helping her, right? At the end, I thought she, I was like, is she in, is that Hawk Girl? Then I was like, wait a minute, that's not Hawk Girl. That's, I have to enunciate Hawk because, because I'm always like Hawk Girl. And it sounds like I'm saying hot girl, which I also mean, but for the sake of this, hawk girl. And I thought that's what that was. I was like, wait a minute, no, no that, that's still Wonder Woman. Oh, right, right, Kingdom Come. That's where I saw that armor myself. I mean, it's been in other things, but I know it from Kingdom Come. First graphic novel I ever read. That shit sticks with you. So look, I dig this Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. I like the vibe. I like the song. For now, Gal Gadot returning as Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor rocking that fanny pack, and Pedro Pascal getting his rock on. That's enough for me. So, sweet teaser trailer. That's what you need for a teaser trailer. All right, so the teaser trailer for Wonder Woman 1984. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.